This pan. I it like is. that you've got like a lip to it. What is it? It's almost two inches where it comes up on the side. It really is. So, you know, and that's for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. But you can see here I'm cooking with no oil at all. Shallots and garlic, I'm sauteing that around. I'm getting caramelization on it, and I haven't put a drop of oil in there. Then what I'm going to do is take some clams, some mussels, drop that in. You'll see that steam start to go to work as soon as I put in a drop of white wine. As it comes to the boil instantly, you drop your lid on, you're capturing all of that flavor in there, and we'll finish it with a little bit of fresh pasta. Okay, over 700 now have been ordered. Wow. We're still here live, and we'd love for you to call in and say hi to Chef Curtis Stone. The toll-free testimonial line is 1-866-376-8255. Or you can stay on the line after you order. This is a really great price. How, uh, this is usually $69.95. I know the thing is so far away. And I think it's $30 off today. Isn't that so, so great? That is is a huge discount on I think this might be one of your number one all-time sellers. Oh it sure is. Uh, th this has been a today special as a smaller pan and then again as a deep pan. Today you're getting the same value as that today special which is really unbelievable. Well, yeah. Now you're asking before about the seasoned ground beef. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the packaging. Take that whole brick we call it or that whole um, piece of ground beef and I've got another little tool to show you. It's called the chop and mash. All right. So what it does here here is this is the chopper side, this is the masher side. So as this ground beef is starting to get a little caramelization, I want to break that up, right? Now if I do it with a pair of tongs, I'm going like this, right? And it's really slow. If I do it with a chopper mash, I just get in there like that. I just chop around on that beef. It starts to, you know, instantly sort of break it up into small pieces. And it's just the most <laughs> easy uh, tool to use. It really is just so wonderful. Now, the great part about what what we're doing here is we've ground flavor into the beef. So we've ground spices into that Aussie beef that we've been talking about. This one's been seasoned with sriracha, right? So we're just gonna keep on going. So all of the spices that you'd normally be looking for to make some Asian style lettuce cup, you now no longer have to reach for. And again, this chopper match also, I don't know if we can bring up that item number for you or not. But it's only 19 bucks. Do people eat a lot of beef bucks. in Australia? Yeah, we do because we have so much of it. You know, we, we, we have a really good grazing culture where right. people graze their beef. It's great quality. We know it's really healthy. So we do. We eat a lot, a lot of beef and a lot of lamb too. I wonder if you're going to get that. <laughs> I'm putting in my orders for the future. We're going to go to the phones to Alabama and say hi to Lydia, who has two of the multi-purpose pans. Hi, Lydia. You're on live with Chef Curtis Stone. Hello, Curtis. How are you? I am so good, Lydia. How are you, my darling? I'm good. I love, I've bought, I have everything of yours, but this pan, I put it, put my stroganoff in the bottom, I put my vegetables on top to steam, and in my second one, I'll have a dessert in the oven. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. And everybody thinks I'm crazy because I actually ordered two sets of your red cookware just so I could keep one hanging up on the pot rack up over the stove. <laughs> Lydia, you're funny. That's amazing. I don't think you're crazy. I think you're actually pretty clever. Because when you think about decorations, they're not cheap. And right. the pans are nope. beautiful decorations. Yeah. They're pretty affordable. Exactly. So good job. And, and my husband knows not to touch the ones that are hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> He's well trained. He's well trained. <laughs> Those are for looking, not for cooking. <laughs> exactly. I love everything you put out. Just keep doing it. It's oh, the, the only skillet I've ever had in my life that an actual egg will just turn around and float right out of. Isn't that so cool? Yep. It really is. It's a total game changer. Over here, and I Lydia. I several sets of cookware, expensive sets of cookware that said it would do that and didn't. Right, mm. right. No, you're absolutely right. Lydia, have a look at what I've got here. This is the steamer tray. I'm just going to lift it up so you can see it. I've got tamales steaming over here. But like I said to you before, you can put multiple of these on. So I'll, let me pick up one more and drop it on top of that. Now, the flavors just continue to rise on up. So you can put as many as you like with those steam trays. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you so much for Thank calling. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks, Lydia. You too, my darling. You too, Lydia.
So look at these tamales. Yeah. It's such a beautiful way to cook. Steaming is such a healthy way to cook. It is. And it really, it really is a fabulous thing. Now, my beef over here, my sriracha ground beef, which is just, you know, it's got a little bit of that sweet sriracha flavor. Mm -hmm. You can use it for a, for a bunch of different um, items. But I'm going to go ahead now oh, and toss good. in some cabbage, some spring onions or green onions, some carrots, a little celery. Toss that in together. And I also noticed there's not a lot of fat in the beef. No. Because when I do ground beef, sometimes from the grocery store, there's like that pool of fat you have to strain off. Right. And that's also, well, that's two things. It's probably from having um, too much fat, and it's also from having uh, the wrong cookware. Because if you don't get your pan hot enough, like yeah. we've got the we've got the um, Dura pan here, if you don't get your pan hot enough, you'll end up steaming the beef, and that's not what you want. You don't want to steam it, because that's where you get all of that moisture coming in. Um, so, Rochelle, would you just have a quick look at those mussels and clams for me, my darling, while I take care of this beef? So, have a look at this. We've got all of those veggies. I put a little hoisin sauce in. The recipes, by the way, with those ground beef are coming together um, with, with the actual grind. So, if you go online and check out what flavors you're interested in, the um, recipes, the come recipes with them? are coming with it. Yep. Oh, nice. By the way, here's some features of the Dura Pan. Um, besides being $30 off today, you've got, you can see your selfish although yes the recipes steamed selfish with uh, with white wine and uh, caper sauce crispy parmesan uh, quick spaghetti bolognese and cinnamon french toast with maple glazed strawberries roast chicken with rosemary butter and the uh, parmesan chicken tenderloins that sounds really good to, it all sounds delicious you get all those recipes over a thousand now sold wow Okay, so take, check out the uh, the lettuce cups that I've made here. You just get in a lettuce leaf. I know a lot of people are eating carb-free these days, and this is a great way to do it. You're still getting your protein with that beautiful beef and some veggies as well. But then you go ahead, you get your lettuce cups, put a little cilantro on there, maybe some peanuts, and you've got a beautiful dinner that you did really just in minutes. That looks gorgeous. Okay, Rochelle, I'm coming back down. Okay. Okay, sounds good. So we've got some ribeyes cooking. Beautiful ribeyes. And if you have a look at this, have a look, you get that gorgeous caramelization. Yeah. It's so important when you're cooking um, steaks and you know, you're spending good money on meat. The last thing you mm -hmm. want to do is overcook it. You don't want to undercook it. You want to make sure you get that caramelization mm -hmm. and then you also get that beautiful pink on the inside. Yeah. Here are some of the New Yorks that we cut earlier um, and they're just beautiful. Have a look at this. Oh, by the way, the um, chop, that? Oh, that so gorgeous? many people are buying the chop and mash. Over a hundred of those have just been purchased from you mentioning it for a second. Um, I think that's a great thing. You know, I when, when I buy a package of chicken, <laughs> what I like about the multi-pan is the yep. whole package fits in it. Right. Have you ever opened up a package of raw chicken and half of it fits in your pan, the other half doesn't? This really fits a lot. It sure does. And look, I'm, I'm putting four chicken breasts in here, and you can see just how much space there is. And I'm cooking on a very <laughs> intense temperature, all right? So, you know, what, what I'm going to do here with the chicken is add a little bit of garlic. I'm going to add some mushrooms and just toss all of that in together, right? And then as soon as that chicken turns, which it is right now, and that needs another minute, just another minute. But no oil, right? You can see I'm not using any oil, and we're getting incredible flavor um, from, from the meat that we're, we're actually cooking. So Now, can you, know, you just put a lid on it? And, I mean, can you just take the pan and put it in the oven? You sure can. You sure can, What does Absolutely. it cook up to? It cooks up to 450 degrees. 450 degrees. We've actually got some in the oven. Look at that. Look at what Rochelle's doing. Oh. Rochelle, we see you over there. I'm looking at that. Oh, yeah. Have a look at that. That looks like a hat. Yes. It's a little lopsided, but hey, you know what? <laughs> I love how you can put the... Uh, what is that? It's a German pancake, so it, it's kind oh. of almost like a crepe batter in a way. Oh. And it just souffles up, and you can look. serve it with jam or maple Berries, syrup or, yeah. or his caramel sauce. Amazing. Delicious. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. So we've got chicken in here. I would put a little stock maybe into this one, just like so. You could even put a little cream into it. And then again, you would take that straight back there into the oven like Rochelle just had um, okay. us going. So I'm going to drop that on in. Mm -hmm. Pop that up top and let that simmer away so that chicken's going to cook super tender. Next, I've got the taco mix. So again, my ground beef. Let's, let's see it one more time. You just remove the packaging, right? You're gonna pick that up, drop it straight into a nice hot pan, 
get your chop and mash if you have a chop and mash. Oh, yeah. Then just <laughs> go ahead and don't be gentle with it. Make sure you get right in there. The great thing about this beef, like you were saying, not too much fat. There's enough fat to give you the flavour, but not too much fat. You certainly don't need to be cooking in any The item oil. number is 591393 for the chop and mash, by the way. <laughs> it's 1995. Ooh, that 1995. is hot. 1995. <laughs> right, and then you just sort of go through that. Um, you chop up all of that beef. Right, and then you, you're allowing it to get that beautiful caramelization at the same time. We've got about two or three minutes left in our show. Um, I want everybody to sit back, and, and I know it's like you're watching a cooking show, but everything has been made with one pan. Right. So if you've got, you know, maybe a, a, a somebody graduating from college, getting their mm -hmm. first apartment, and you get to get them one thing, it should be this pan. This is a pan that I have in my house. I grab it 99 times out of 100. I will grab this pan. And, you know, from sauteing to stir-frying to roasting to braising to stewing, all of it can happen in this pan. You know, and look at that. I've browned that meat. Yes, the pan was ridiculously hot, <laughs> but I have managed to brown that meat in literally 30 seconds or so. So then you'd go ahead and you'd add in some onions. You'd add in a little, maybe some tomato paste. Not sure how I'm supposed to get that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'll do my best. On the wrist. Right. You sort of you just mess that around, and then if you want to throw in a little garlic, you can toss in a little garlic, and you're making the most delicious taco filling right now without really doing much work at all. I've got a little wine, or you could put in a little stock. Gorgeous. Thirteen dollars and thirty-two cents to get home this pan. Final minute in the show. So if you've been watching, and sometimes it is like watching a cooking show, I want to remind you, you can actually own this pan. Right. <laughs> you can get it home. Don't and this sit can on be the sidelines is what we're saying, Right, exactly. Come on in. Come on in and, and grab this. this. This is the pan that you will say, okay, I have to have everything. Once you use this pan, you'll get what all the fuss is about. The number one top-rated, customer-reviewed brand at the entire network is Curtis Stone. So pretty, pretty wow. crazy. Uh, wow, you're really... We <laughs> have the hottest deep. pans on the planet That's here right. today, They're ladies and gentlemen. They're nuclear pans. I think Michelle's there. 